its most serious charges yet in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. The founder of the far-right Oath Keepers militia group and 10 others have been arrested for a seditious conspiracy accused of trying to overthrow or disrupt the government. It's exceedingly rare for the Justice Department, by the way, to bring a charge of sedition, but the FBI says it's mounting. Evidence shows that that assault for some was not spontaneous, but planned and premeditated. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has more now. The FBI claims that Stuart Rose, the founder of Oath Keepers Militia, was involved in a plot, a conspiracy to commit sedition. Because we have men already stationed outside D.C. as a nuclear option in case they attempt to remove the president illegally, we will step in and stop it. The allegation is that Rose and 10 other Oath Keepers actively conspired to oppose by force the lawful transfer of presidential power. The government describes Oath Keepers as an anti-government right-wing militia, which heavily recruits current and former military and law enforcement officials. The FBI believes these images of several Oath Keepers in tactical gear, making their way up the steps of the Capitol in formation on January 6th, is evidence that they came prepared to stop President-elect Biden from assuming power. They're in tactical gear. They have body armor. You know, they're preparing for violence. I think. What we saw was really an attempted coup to a certain extent. According to the indictment, two days after the election, Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rose allegedly messaged followers, we aren't getting through this without a civil war. Prepare your mind, body, and spirit. And days later writing, we must now do what the people of Serbia did when Milosevic stole their election, refuse to accept it, and march en masse on the nation's capital. And the FBI says on January 6th, members of the group moved in search of Speaker Pelosi, while others allegedly staged an armed quick strike force in Virginia, not far from the capital. Pierre, joining me live now for more. So, Pierre, break down these charges for us. What exactly is sedition or seditious conspiracy? Well, the word sedition sounds ominous. It is. It basically means trying to overthrow or disrupt your government as it's trying to perform one of its official duties. In this case, the government is alleging that uh, Rhodes and his associates basically, by the use of force, tried to keep... President-elect Biden from assuming the power that the people elected him to have. And now these suspects, as you said, are due in court today. How are they expected to defend themselves? Well, we spoke to, or we got a statement from Stuart Rose's attorney last night, and he was pretty blunt. He says that the government's case is based on lies, that they have documents that will prove that they were there to basically do security for certain people uh, around surrounding President Trump's speech, that there is no evidence in their mind that they were pre-planning to attack the Capitol. That's the case that at least Rose's attorney plans to make. Well, we've already seen some fairly minor sentences for rioters, right? So far, up to just a few years in prison. So how much time could these Oath Keepers face if indeed they're convicted, Pierre? And what makes them so different from those rioters who may only serve a few months? Well, the rioters who've served, you know, a relatively few months have been the ones convicted of, like, misdemeanors in terms of just being in the Capitol, not necessarily harming law enforcement. We did have uh, a rioter who was accused and convicted of uh, harming police and, and other people, uh, sentenced to 63 months. But in the case of sedition, it's 20 years uh, max, potentially, uh, in prison. So it's a very lengthy uh, prison term. And I think, again, the key here, uh, if you look at how the Justice Department is breaking down these cases, if you harmed a law enforcement official, they are going to try to give you significant time. On the higher end of things, sedition is if they have evidence that they believe that you were planning uh, to disrupt uh, the proceedings of uh, the U.S. Congress in terms of the certification of Joe Biden, that's where they're, they're going after the more serious charges. And, and what do these charges mean for the investigation as it moves forward, do you think? Well, I think one of the things we see is that a number of the Oath Keepers, for example, have pleaded uh, guilty uh, and are cooperating with law enforcement. So it's clear that the FBI and Justice Department has an end with some of these people. Uh, how much documentation, how much help they can provide remains to be seen. But uh, as I spoke to a source the other week, this investigation is far, far from over and expect more to come. 
All right, Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas, I know you'll be following it all for us. Pierre, thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.